What words have whispered secrets to your soul? What phrases have ignited a fire within, pushing you to rise above and conquer your fears? Today, we journey into the minds and hearts of four individuals who live by quotes that punch them right in the soul. Hey everyone, and welcome to MA English. Get ready to be inspired, motivated, and maybe even a little bit shook. In this video, we'll meet four amazing people who'll share their personal quote powerhouses, the words that shape who they are and fuel their journeys. From overcoming claustrophobia with Maya Angelou's wisdom to embracing life's dance with Alan Watts' philosophy, this video is packed with quotable gems and personal struggles overcome. Are you ready to discover quotes that will resonate with your own experiences? Then buckle up, hit that like button, subscribe for more inspiring content, and let's dive in. Don't forget to share in the comments below what quotes light your fire. Hey there, you wonderful bunch of motivated souls. Ali here, your friendly neighborhood motivator, back again to sprinkle some inspiration into your day. Now picture this, you're feeling a bit down, the world seems to be throwing lemons at you faster than you can make lemonade. What do you do? Well, my friends, that's where a good old motivational quote swoops in like a superhero. And today, I've got a quote that's not just any ordinary pep talk, it's the kind that'll make you want to jump out of bed and tackle the day head on. Are you ready for it? The only way to do great work is to love what you do. Ah, doesn't that just hit you right in the motivation bone? It's like a warm hug for your soul. Let's break it down, shall we? Think about it. When you're passionate about something, when you truly love what you're doing, work doesn't feel like work anymore, does it? It feels like a thrilling adventure. Like you're on a quest to conquer the world, armed with nothing but your dreams and determination. And here's the kicker, when you're doing what you love, you're unstoppable. You're firing on all cylinders, tapping into your full potential, and creating magic with every step you take. But hey, let's not forget the reality check. We're not all living our wildest dreams 24-7, right? Sometimes we find ourselves knee-deep in tasks that don't exactly set our hearts on fire. And that's okay. It's all part of the journey. The key is to find moments of joy in every situation to infuse even the most mundane tasks with a sprinkle of passion. Whether it's belting out your favorite tune while doing the dishes or approaching a spreadsheet with the enthusiasm of a kid in a candy store, there's always room to inject a bit of love into what you do. So, my fellow dreamers, my fellow doers, let's make a pact right here, right now. Let's strive to find that spark, that flicker of passion in everything we do. Because when we do what we love, we're not just doing great work, we're living great lives. So go on, chase those dreams, embrace your passions, and remember, the only way to do great work is to love what you do. Until next time, stay awesome, stay inspired, and keep spreading those positive vibes. Ali out. Yo, 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 what's up, everyone? Anthony here, today, we're diving into a quote that's like my personal hype man, constantly reminding me to keep pushing, even when things get tough. So, grab your metaphorical dumbbells and get ready to lift some inspiration. The quote comes from the legendary Nelson Mandela, a man who stared down mountains and emerged stronger. He said, and listen closely, the greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Boom! That right there is a mic drop moment for the soul. Now, let me tell you, I've fallen more times than a toddler learning to walk. Faced setbacks, rejections, moments where I wanted to throw in the towel. But this quote, man, it's like a lighthouse in the storm. It reminds me that falling is inevitable, but getting back up? That's what makes us who we are. Imagine this, you're training for a marathon. You stumble, you scrape your knee, you might even faceplant. But what do you do? You dust yourself off, 
patch yourself up, and keep running. Because the finish line isn't about never tripping, it's about crossing it, no matter how many bumps you hit along the way. See, life ain't a smooth ride. There will be potholes, detours, and maybe even the occasional flat tire. But that's where the real growth happens. Each time you fall, you learn, you adapt, you become a more resilient version of yourself. You become someone who can laugh at their own clumsiness, dust themselves off with a grin, and say, bring it on, universe, I'm ready for round two. So, how do we embody Nelson Mandela's words in our daily lives? Here's my battle plan. Asterisk embrace the stumble, don't let setbacks define you. See them as stepping stones, not roadblocks. Asterisk celebrate your comebacks, every time you get back up, it's a victory. Do a fist pump, shout it from the rooftops, own that resilience. Asterisk learn from your falls, analyze what went wrong, adjust your strategy, and come back stronger. Asterisk inspire others, share your story, your struggles, and your triumphs. Be a beacon of hope for those facing their own battles. Remember, folks, life is a marathon, not a sprint. There will be moments you trip, moments you doubt, moments you want to quit. But that's where Nelson Mandela's wisdom shines. Rise above the fall, learn, grow, and keep moving forward. And hey, if you ever need a reminder, just picture me doing push-ups with a motivational quote poster on my back. You're welcome for the mental image. Now, go out there and conquer your challenges, big or small. Remember, the greatest glory lies not in avoiding falls, but in mastering the art of rising again. Until next time, stay strong, stay motivated, and keep pushing forward. Peace out. What's up, inspiration seekers? Gary here, your friendly neighborhood dose of motivation. Today, we're talking about a quote that's like a cape for my soul, reminding me that heroism doesn't require superpowers, just a good heart and the will to act. So, grab your metaphorical batarangs and get ready to fly with some powerful words. Now, the quote comes from none other than the Dark Knight himself, Batman. But forget the brooding and the gadgets, this quote shines a light on a different kind of hero, the everyday hero. It goes like this, a hero can be anyone, even a man doing something as simple and reassuring as putting a coat around a young boy's shoulders tells him the world has not ended yet. Bam. Powerful stuff, right? See, I used to think heroes were these mythical beings with capes and laser eyes, saving the day in epic battles. But then this quote slapped me across the face with a metaphorical truth bomb. It showed me that heroism isn't about grand gestures, it's about the choices we make every day. Imagine a kid lost in a crowd, feeling scared and alone. A stranger offers a comforting hand, maybe even a warm coat. That simple act of kindness becomes a beacon of hope, a reminder that the world isn't all darkness. That, my friends, is heroism in its purest form. It's not about waiting for a giant meteor to crash land before we spring into action. It's about the small moments, holding the door open for someone, offering a helping hand to a struggling neighbor, standing up for what's right even when it's uncomfortable. These seemingly insignificant acts, like tiny sparks, can ignite a chain reaction of good in the world. So, how do we channel our inner Batmans and Batwomen? Here's my Batastic plan. Asterisk be the change you want to see. Don't wait for someone else to make a difference. Start with yourself. Asterisk open your eyes to opportunities. Look around. There's always someone who could use a little kindness, a listening ear, or a helping hand. Asterisk small acts, big impact. Remember, even the tiniest gesture can have a ripple effect, spreading positivity and hope. 
Asterisk embrace the hero within. You don't need a cape or a fancy car, just a compassionate heart and the courage to act. Remember, folks, we all have the potential to be heroes. It's not about waiting for extraordinary circumstances. It's about making the ordinary extraordinary with our kindness and actions. And hey, if you ever need a reminder, just picture me in a homemade Batman costume, giving directions to a lost tourist. You're welcome for the mental image. Now, go out there and don your metaphorical capes. Show the world that heroism doesn't need superpowers, just a willingness to make a difference. Until next time, stay strong, stay kind, and remember, even the smallest act of courage can be your bat signal to the world. Hey everyone, Amelia here. Today, I want to dive into a quote that's become a guiding star in my life. Forget dusty old textbooks. This quote is like a neon sign flashing across my soul, reminding me to embrace every moment. So, buckle up, because we're about to get inspirational, with a dash of Amelia sass, of course. The quote comes from the one and only Alan Watts, a philosopher with words as smooth as jazz and wisdom deeper than the ocean. He said, and listen closely, the only way to make sense out of change is to play the game. Let the music play. Now, let me tell you, that first time I read it, my mind did a little happy dance. Here I was, constantly overthinking, planning, and stressing about the future, and suddenly it all clicked. Life isn't some pre-written script. It's an improv show. We're all on stage, holding the mic of experience, and the only way to truly connect with the audience, aka life itself, is to jump in, embrace the unknown, and let the rhythm take us. Think about it. When was the last time you truly lived in the moment? Not just going through the motions, but really feeling the wind on your face, the laughter of loved ones, the deliciousness of that forbidden slice of cake. Don't judge. We've all been there. Those are the moments that make life sing, the moments where the music truly plays. Of course, change can be scary. It's like walking into a new dance club, unsure of the moves, the music, the vibe. But here's the thing. The best dancers aren't the ones who know every step perfectly. They're the ones who adapt, who improvise, who let the music guide their feet, even if they stumble sometimes. So... How can we apply Alan Watts' wisdom to our daily lives? Here's my recipe for embracing the dance. Asterisks say yes to new experiences, even if they scare you. Remember, the most beautiful sunrises often happen after the darkest nights. Asterisk don't overthink things. Sometimes, the best decisions are made on a whim, guided by intuition rather than spreadsheets. Asterisk laugh at your mistakes. They're not missteps. They're just part of the choreography of life. Asterisk find joy in the small things. The warmth of the sun on your skin, the taste of your favorite coffee, the goofy smile of your pet. These are the melodies that make the music worth playing. Remember, life isn't a dress rehearsal. It's the main show and you're the star. So, turn up the volume, embrace the unknown, and let the music of your life play. And hey, if you ever need a reminder, just picture me with a giant afro wig, busting some groovy moves under a disco ball. You're welcome for the mental image. Now, go out there and dance your own dance, everyone. Embrace the change, let the music play, and most importantly, have fun. Until next time, stay inspired, stay bold, and remember, life's too short to sit on the sidelines. Get out there and groove.